All right, welcome back. We are back as uh, Scandinavian Ireland. We are surviving. Last uh, stream, we went to war with the English and successfully got our Irish holdings back. Uh, currently, we are allied to Sweden. I don't know why we can see. Probably because of Sweden having access to the uh, sea here. We yeah, are allied to Sweden. We are also allied to the major, uh, major uh, things. Thank you, Mimi, for uh, following. Um, as tradition, you will actually be um, also in military power. Doing as tradition, you are going to be a new general. Oh, my shortcuts aren't working. Let's let it load. I is gaming. Mimi. There we go. And you suck, but that's okay. That is, that is okay. We will um we will drill and you shall get better. So our plans for this episode, or the stream I should say. We will go to war with Scotland and we're gonna bring in Sweden. We're gonna crush their uh, navy. Because we can. We do have some internal problems. We must, first of all, resolve this looming disaster. Um, we should be fine. We should be fine. We need a lot of sailors to um, support this. Good, we're actually regaining sailors. Uh, oh. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah, he's not gonna be a god. Our military power currently is 38, which is not the greatest. It's, it's good. It's not the greatest, though. Okay, when we mothballed it, does, it, does that get rid of the, um... Oh, cool. We'll do that. Hey, Cannonball Boy. How you doing? So let's continue on. Yeah, we're just gonna try to get more sailors. Um, we are surviving. <laughs> Hi, pizza. Ooh, that's good. When we conquer Sweden, or uh, Sweden, Scotland, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be fine because of our uh, conquest. Just let it load. It's um. It's doing fine on my end. Okay, we're getting cores. Let's go ahead and do we need to reinforce those? Yeah, we do. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and just build some uh, galleys. Hmm, who would join us in a war against, uh, yeah, only Sweden, and of course these two guys, but that's fine. See how currently the Navy's going, let's go ahead and just leave that going. Rivals? Scotland has a total of 24, but they're only light ships and uh, transports. With a fleet of galleys, um, we're going to completely destroy their navy. The problem with that, though, is that they have their allies, who are Friesland, which has a total of 11 light ships. Now, that's scary. If we can somehow get rid of the Friesland uh, alliance and uh, attack when they're weak, then that would be great. Hey, Mimi! You just gained a uh, maneuver. <laughs> Good job. Hey, Turlin. 
That does mean we have to get rid of one of these guys. Yeah, we're, we can we can take this. We're fine with this. Late feudalism. <laughs> That's great. All right, good. Manpower is slowly increasing. In fact, let's go ahead and increase that up. Let's go ahead and grant generalship. We'll go ahead and uh, recruit a minister, and we're going to raise the levels. There we go. And now they're mad at me. <laughs> uh, that, that's fine. Let's continue to get more uh, galleys. Mimi, you're just increasing your skill. Damn. Let's go see who we can fire. Holy shit, that's a four siege. Um, Yeah, we're going to just get rid of that guy. Terlinator, thank you for subscribing. You, however, we do have a lot of... um. Well, I guess we can get a new um, admiral. So let's go ahead and just name it Terlinator. Bam, look at that. You're now the um, admiral of the fleets. Let's go ahead and get rid of our sucky old one since we replaced it with you, a god. Let's continue going. So we got rid of the internal struggle. Um, we currently need to advance in admin tech. So when we get the chance, we're going to go ahead and focus on that. Hmm. Ooh, Castile. It's not looking too great. Pizza Digger, thank you for subscribing. Uh, this does mean I will, since I already have a lot of generals and um, a lot already an admiral, I'm gonna wait until um, either one of these guys die, and then I'll name you as the one the general or admiral. So do not worry, you will not be forgotten. Or we could just name a province after you. Would you rather have a province named, or would you rather have a general or admiral? Keep going. Alright. Once uh, Terlinator here unfortunately dies, which will probably be very soon. Sorry, Terlinator. Um, yeah, we will... We will definitely use you. In fact, we need to increase our um, army strength. Are we receiving subsidiaries? Log, thank you for subscribing. Um... I have so many people uh, following, so let's go ahead and we'll name you after Uliad. Historically, this takes into account uh, Northern Ireland. Um, they actually stayed with the uh, United Kingdom when um, Ireland broke away. So let's go ahead and rename you to Log Ria Ane. There we go. And now forever, there's going to be, if there's a battle that happens in this province, it will be the Battle of Log. And I'm not going to try to pronounce your name because I will terribly mispronounce it. The good thing is we are ever increasing... Ooh. Our king died. Alright, that's fine. What are we going to be? We're going to be the... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. What's our colonial? Yeah, okay. We're going to stay as the tier. <laughs> I remember his gaming. I remember his gaming one. He was a good general. He was a good general. All right, Mimi. It's going to be your first battle. So let's, uh, we're going to allow them to cap it because our army morale is way too low. Hey, Fat Panda. Oh. Cool. 
Um, it looks like the, um... Ooh, Aragon. Holy shit, you're getting fucked. Um, we're not, not, we're just not gonna look over there. Yeah, our allies down, uh, down by Spain are not doing really well. Alright, so let's go ahead and watch this battle. Ooh, your first roll was not the greatest. Your second roll wasn't good. The second, ooh. No, Mimi. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this is not good. It's fine. Uh, if you can get, get ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and retreat. That's fine, though. As time gets, goes on, you will become a better uh, better general through drilling. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's go and... Yeah, we can't. A lot of rubbles. Alright. We need to actually increase our um, navy strength, or our army strength anyways. There we go. So let's go and recruit all of them. And that shouldn't be... Yeah, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Rename Mimi's troops. Ah. <laughs> uh. Alright, by popular demand, Mimi has been kicked off. Uh, we're gonna do that, and let's see if Pizza's gonna be a good general here. I really doubt it, but let's see. Pizza, you're 0-2-2. Two, two, zero, two, two. That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> It's the equivalent of Cat Cat Man 4 leading us into a uh, battle. Let's go ahead and uh, temporarily we're going to use this general. We do have to get some rid of some uh, generals. I want to keep this uh, amazing amazing uh, siege guy because that's a godlike general. Don't worry, he's gaming. Once we have um, enough. Military, then we're gonna do it. We've lost the cl Oh, god. I need to start building a spy network with them. And we have successfully won that battle. Good. Let's get back. Um, what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna split this into two armies. We're gonna let um, Mimi hold this one, and we're gonna let Pizza hold this one. This way, we can drill them, and they will get better over time. <laughs> Mimi. That's a fake pizza. <laughs> I like that. And we need a galley. Alright. Well, here's the thing. I, we could cross the Scottish Navy. Aragon, I've never been your enemy. Alright. Looming disaster, of course. Um, can we boost this? We cannot. Let's go to the clergy and be like, hey, please help. Wow, you guys need land. Let's go ahead and give you a log. Ch -ch 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 clergy. We are... <laughs> ah, there we go. It's gonna give us enough to boost our stability. Hmm. It'll be fine for now. We will invest in better tax in Kildare. We're gonna send this uh, one there. For Turlinator and Tyrone. The Admiral? <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're gonna get fucked by England if we declare war. Um, mainly because while we have 19, we have... They have around 29 ships, and we cannot take that. Rusty Lemon, thank you for subscribing. Replay. <laughs> no, get out of here. Get out of here, Rusty. By the way, I, I will name a person after you. Don't no, worry. Also, I saw your uh, I saw your rusty spoon uh, video that you put in my Discord channel. Uh, cough, cough. I do have a Discord server, so if you'd like to join, go ahead. Um, 
Probably don't have a link for that now I think about it. <laughs> Rip. Alright. Let's go ahead and make... Make pizza stop drilling. Let's move to the Midlands. Yeah, I don't need a sous meal. Uh, you're, you're probably going to need it after this. Ah. Let's go ahead and stop drilling Mimi. This will be Pizza's first battle. Uh, let's do that. Hmm. Alright. There will be Rebels and Thalmond. And Rebels and Leonsta. Now, of course, I have to put a history lesson into this. So, why are we playing as a Scandinavian Ireland? Now, mind you, Scandinavia is where Sweden is, Denmark, um, this general area. Well, during the Viking Age, which lasted a few hundred years and ended with the death of Hasdruba in 1066 during the Battle of somewhere in North <laughs> Scotland, the Vikings used to pillage all up and down the uh, coast of the British Isles. Um, and they actually, Dublin, if you did not know, Dublin was actually a very influential um, Nordic uh, trading hub for a long time. And, of course, over the years, these, well, here, let me show you what happened before. So, all of these nations are tribal, um, well, they're not tribal, they're more like uh, small states, essentially fighting with everyone. Um, so, of course, we'll do a little history thing. Now, historically, the Dublin area got conquered by England um, around, I want to say... It was a, I think it was around the 1200s, 1300s. I could be totally wrong. Do not quote me there. But as time went on, we conquered over Ireland. Um, and you can see how England started to eat up um, parts of uh, Ireland. And again, historically, um, what they used to do is they used to have plantations. And England would send settlers over to Ireland to uh, help out the, uh, settle, the uh, settlements. No, I'm not getting attacked, Pizza, don't worry. I paused the game, this is just me taking over Ireland. And, of course, for a few decades I did nothing. And actually, I think this was during the English War, and then we eventually got uh, the rest of Ireland. So let's go ahead and go back. The economy is doing really well. Actually, no, it's not, but it's doing alright. Peasants War... What's that going to do to me if I... National unrest plus 5. I do not like that. do not like that at all. Alright, let's go ahead and combine these armies. And since Pizza hasn't done his first battle, we're going to make Pizza the... Um, the general in charge. Oh my god, you crushed them. We only lost around 1,000 and they lost 80. Oh Jesus, 8,000. Let's go ahead and go back to Kildare. Uh, another, another one. Let's go. Let's put Mimi in charge of this one just to see what happens. <laughs> Mimi did better. This, this, they're basically equal generals. Not bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's continue to drill with uh, pizza. That way he can get better too. <laughs> now I do not want to go to war yet due to this stupid peasants war um, in fact we're gonna actually stop drilling for now and we're gonna go ahead and just go to time five yeah I mean you did fine um
yeah, we really need to um get these claims back. Thalmond. It doesn't look like... Okay, if I just sit in Thalmond, I could actually just, um... I could just suppress them. There. There we go. Alright, cool. Yeah, Scotland, of course you hate me. Um, Sweden, you're gonna be our primary ally during this war. Castile, Portugal, they're getting fucked. Aragon got destroyed. Can I be the... <laughs> Temporarily, for now, Rusty, I'm going to make you a regiment. Actually, no, I'm going to name you after a ship. So, let's go ahead and just name this one. The Rusty Spoon. Or no, the Rusty uh, Lemon. That video... <laughs> that video you uh, put in a uh, general for that uh, one Discord server really is messing with my head. So, congratulations, you are now the Rusty Lemon. Uh, your ship. Congratulations. Can we increase our trade? No, we cannot. We can, though, actually. There we go. Slowly but surely, we are getting ready for war. Okay, we can now drill. Thumb and uh, Separatists should go on the rise after this. Oh, no, they, they're, they're gone. Cool. We're getting sailors. Um, how many sailors does it take to make a galley? 100. Okay. <laughs> Renamed. I can't really rename. Okay, the truce against England has ended. Sweden will join. Hmm. We are not going to declare war. We're going to get fucked if we do. Well, no, we may not. What's the um, strength of the English army? 22k. Um, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Scotland probably has way more allies. Or, not allies, but, um... Troops. 20k. With a force limit of 28, um... Hmm. Super Kai, thank you for, uh, subscribing. Yeah, and also temporarily, we're going to also name you as a galley in our uh, fleet. Just because I've ran out of room for uh, generals. <laughs> Alright. We can go to war with Scotland. I am very confident, actually. Not with this looming disaster, though. Awesome. We've halted the Peasants' War. Desmond's... We're gonna have to go ahead and stop drilling. Do not worry, we're going to war soon. Soon. Ooh, that's the whole Scottish fleet. Now would have been the best time to go to war. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait. We're gonna get rid of these rebels. Uh, pizza. We're gonna keep pizza here. Pizza! Holy shit! You almost got destroyed. Jesus. <laughs> but you're an inspirational leader. So that's actually really good for a few reasons. Alright, let's go ahead and go up to the log. The log province. Um, we're gonna. S okay, that was really lucky. Um, we're gonna wait for Scotland to come in our uh, reach. Let's go ahead and just get more claims. Doesn't need to be 40, I assume. 35. Oh, that's next month. Okay. 
All right, Scotland. Oh, Sweden, come on. You're in debt? What are you doing? What possible reason did you go in debt? <laughs> okay, well... Can I send you money? Actually, cancel. Uh, how about a loan offer? Uh... Interesting. Okay, fine. Then I'm gonna send you a gift of a hundred and fifty. So you can repay some of your uh, debt. Sweden, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're gonna go into debt after this. Alright, um. Okay, would you actually join us now? Yes! All right, we are ready to go to war. Once we see a Scottish fleet in the Irish, um, a massive um, Scottish fleet, actually, we're looking for the big one. Uh, this is good enough. That six, uh. That six one is gonna be good. Call in Sweden. Um, let's get a calm one for this. Or suspenseful. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. We are going to war for this province. Confirm. And of course, I always do a save game just in case. Because, uh, I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, I am. But that's not the main point here. So this 6th fleet will be coming in here. This is your first battle, Turlinator. We have one, and we're going... There we go. Good job. Good job. We're going to go ahead and go into St. George's uh, channel. Actually, no. We're going to stay here. We're going to go ahead and go in. We will be losing money during this war. We are going to be doing that uh, decision because it's actually an amazing decision. And we're actually going to go ahead and um, 28th of September. Okay. trying to think of a strat right now oh yes look at that Swedish oh we're gonna allow that to attach to us actually and I want them to actually try to land in uh, yeah I want them to try to land here okay let's go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and go in Perth so we can get rid of this 1k. Yep. Awesome. And actually, we're going to be headed and using this general over here. They're gathering their strength. I do not like that one bit. Missions. Why can we not do this one? We need... F okay. Let's go there. Is this a hill? It is. Okay. You cannot cross. Which means they're only doing one thing. They're getting ready to attack me. Hmm.
Yeah, I'm fine with them doing this, actually. Um, how's... Okay, the Navy's coming towards us. That's good. We're gonna go ahead and just sit in their capital. Ah, God, I actually forgot to do something. Uh, can we go here and then there and then uh, go back to friendly territory? Well, actually, we can actually sit here. We need to grab that four, uh, g that four general, because he's a god. That uh, four siege general. So as long as we aren't going to be attacked, we're going to send back this one person. Actually, we're going to go ahead and combine uh, this. We're going to do this. We're going to send him back. Okay, we're gonna. He, if he's gonna come back, that's fine. Now he's amassing a very large army, um, which is not good at all. I do not like this one bit. He is separating his army into two groups, which means he's getting ready to attack us. So we either need to do a few decisions. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and go down here, and then go back up there. Now I said there to there. Can I? Can we not go there? Okay. What if we go like this? Ooh, um, Norway is starting to transfer troops. Okay, that's good. That's not good. They are trying to engage this, um... Okay. <laughs> Don't be a coward. Send pizza to war. Yeah, ooh, that's good. Good job, guys. That's good. Come on, Sweden. The fact that they have a lot more men than me scares the shit out of me. But, um... They're starting to land people on the coast, or the, um, actual... Okay. They're getting ready to attack me. They have, uh, around 32k. Ha. <sighs> This may become a defensive war soon. Disease outbreak. <laughs> Supercot, who are you? <laughs> Retreat, Sweden. You're gonna have to receive. Retreat. Re. Retreat, you dumbass. Well, actually, no, they're gonna win this. That's fine. As long as these people don't move over. Alright, come on. We are holding the Irish Sea, which is good. I wanna avoid uh, direct conflict here. Sweden, I'd, I'd retreat. There you go. They lost way more troops. Uh, that's good. We're gonna get the capital, then we're gonna go ahead and go down here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go and attack Syria. Number one, I am nowhere close to that region, and number two, the Crusades have already... Well, they haven't already passed. It's actually in the full swing of them. But, um, no. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Save him. It's too far away. If we can get... Ooh, they're sending troops in, finally. That's a big worry, actually. Um, yeah, go ahead and don't do this. Oh, I, I guess I can't say no to that. All right. <laughs> Come on. Aragon, fuck you. Okay, our allies have landed in um, southern Scotland. 
25 versus... Yeah, okay, we're not gonna do it. 35, that, that's too much. Is there anyone who wants to get out of this war? No one so far. <laughs> it, it'll be some major bullshit if they... Oh. What? What the fuck? Alright then. We're going to go ahead and save our friends over here. We... We won that. Whew. We're actually going to track this, um... Oh, they're crossing over there. Oh, we need to, um... Can we reach there in time? No. 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 Alright. Hmm. Current situation is not the best. We've lost a lot of manpower. Um. We need to siege back this province for now. We need to hold a great Bliot. The trade range. Do we want that? We do need that. We still do not have enough. Alright. <laughs> Turtle in air, you've already been to war. You've um won a battle actually. Um Yeah, you've won this battle. Okay, first of all, that was stupid of me. Number two, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna put our four siege guy there. We can go to the main... Or actually, let's go here. Ooh, Friesland, please. Ooh, good. Very good. Change the song. Friesland, you are out of here. Which is good. Which is great, actually. That's um, that's gonna allow um Sweden to come down and destroy them. Ten, eleven, five. They have about twenty k troops right there. Um, we're gonna stay near our allies. It will be a miracle if we survive this battle. Let's go ahead and watch what happens. Sweden will not help. Wow. Decisive. The Scots are respectable enemies. They will fight to the death. 
<laughs> 22 votes to Syria. Um, I don't think so, pal. In fact, the Navy... I think the Mamluks have... They have the second largest army, 43. And our Navy is not the best. Mm, of course they want to stay in this war. I'm very happy with the uh, Swedes. They did some pretty good decision making. According to all known laws of aviation. <laughs> uh, what's our Navy tradition at? Navy, 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 Navy. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. We have survived, we are going to continue to survive, and we will live through this war. We must protect our trade. Falk, Galde, they can go fuck themselves. We are not going anywhere near Syria. It's too far away. This war was for, yep, okay. They will try to attack us again, I already have a feeling. Am I reading this correctly? Oh, wow. Oh, we need to move. We need to move. Go, 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 go. Come on. 21st. Dude, we just trapped 7,000 of their, um... What? That's bullshit. Alright. They're getting ready for a second attack. Um, let's go ahead and go down here. Why did you leave that raid? <laughs> if you're getting ready to attack, I... Why are you leaving? Hmm. Once this raid, or this, um, siege is done, we need to move there. Ooh. You are getting sued. Suggest demands. Send. It's just us in Scotland now. We have taken the capital. We will go for the siege goal, or the, the war goal. They are not thinking about attacking, are they? Once we got get this, we're going to win. Alright. England and Scotland will never join a coalition. That's kind of scary, though. Let's go ahead and just remove that from our, um... And France might, too. Um... Nineteen developments now. It's a lot to pass up here. Is gaming? I was focusing. I'm sorry. We will not attack the Syrians, though. We cannot. We are not strong enough. Hmm. What if we... I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We have won! We have won the war. Uh, what's this looming disaster? Hmm. Whew. Yeah, we really need to focus on admin now. Focus. 
Good job, Pizza. You did really well that <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and go here. We have defended successfully. Turlinator did a really well job. Mimi and Pizza did a really good job. And now we wait. A um, few things actually. We need to send a diplomat to make good relations with... Hmm. Now nah, we're going to be fine. Scotland, how much do you love us? You hate us. You're allied to Scotland. Not cool, man. Not cool. Alright. We have a lot of military tech. Or, uh, points. Hmm. Next war will be with... Will be against England. But for now, we're going to send a diplomat to do that. Good. This is good. We're doing really well. Um... How do we get rid of this modifier entirely? I see. Okay. Yeah, this, um... These two provinces are going to be a bitch to core. Mainly, um, Lothian. So, it's going to take a while. Sweden's looking mighty strong. At 34k, they're, we can never attack them and actually win. This is going to be good. Once we take out Scotland, we'll take out England. We may actually do a two-pronged attack. Where Ayutheland will take over Wales, make that a, a, pep, a, a puppet uh, state, a vassal, take over the rest of England with that uh, vassal. That's going to be really good. Um, it's a tolerance. There we go. From my understanding, we do have a few. Dell, well, you guys don't even have a core. How can how can you be revolting? Yeah, none of you guys have cores. Interesting. Can we release that nation? Uh, releasing. I used used to know how. I think it's here. Yeah, diplomacy. And release. Let's see if they have any. They don't even have any cores. Yeah, they they have, don't have any reason to um rebel besides the Isles, but um really don't care about the Isles. <laughs> Next four we'll take out uh, Northern Scotland and. Move slightly down. <laughs> A lot of military tech. Let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and develop development. Uh, yeah, well, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, 
That's gonna be good for now. Let's increase our um manpower. So that's gonna be good for a while. You guys have any favorite time periods of history? Epic. <laughs> come on, there has to be like one, like, come on, like the uh, Spanish and, you know, when the Spains just basically took over, like, Europe because of religious dominance. Of course, that's what happened. Um, we have gained cores. Excellent. You can make a state even better. I don't want to make that state. But I guess we can. hundred and twenty BC. Ooh, don't even get me started there, pizza. Ah, Rome. That reminds me, I really need to work on my Imperial to Rome uh series. I have not touched in a long time. Alright, let's prepare war for the English, shall we? You're fighting in an air war, and you don't have enough favors. Who are you fighting against? The Teutons. Yeah, you're not going to win that, I'm sorry. Hmm. Um, if you guys did not know, the Crusades were not only in Syria and uh, down here. The, for instance, the, the, the um, Teutonic Order, they were actually a, um, what's called a religious um, oligarchy, mon or a monast- ooh, I cannot speak. Monastic uh, Order, which is probably not how you pronounce it, but still. England has announced us as a rival. That's fine. But yeah, they the Pope actually sent crusades up here to fight against um well Muscovy's Muscovy's really fucked, but um to fight against the uh Slavic nations up here. And uh some down here, but mainly up here. Awesome. Ah <sighs> Wait, are we making that without subsidy? Oh, wow. Trade, war reps. The war reps are really helping us here. Um, What's our terrain? Our grasslands? Do we, is there a lot of grasslands? <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's a pretty shit um, place, too. At seven development, it's actually all right for a one province. It's um, it's kind of interesting. It's actually really interesting how much of these um, very northern Russian like countries are democratic. For instance, I think this is a republic. Yeah. Um, we can lose the dip. Yeah, let's lose the diplomatic. Just really interesting how that happens. Like, um, Novgorod is a. Send pizza in. There we go. Destroyed them. Good job. We need to make rivals. Um, the English can be our rival. Because I hate the fucking English. Hmm. Do we want to do that? Not really, no. Ooh. That's going to be really good. Um, Actually, what's our um, currents? Uh... 
110, okay. I'd love to buy um, Iceland off Sweden. That'd be really nice. Let's go ahead and do the aggressive expansion impact. So France, you don't like me, I see. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, I guess you're already all the way improved. That's going to be a problem. France should be a, yeah, they're number two on the great powers list behind um, India. Okay. Uh, D Delhi is basically just India, which is probably very um, offensive. But uh, for the main part, So, we're about to have more rebels in Inverness. Let's go ahead and wait. Make court. I'm trying to guess when they're going to actually uh, revolt. Damn. <laughs> oh well. That's no decisions. Nothing I'm interested in. Oh, and our city um came out of uh, Novgorod. Interesting. So France is big and scary. Um, you have a royal marriage with England, but what? It's their opinion of you, England. What the fuck? Aren't they're historical rivals? They they should never be able to have good relations. That's weird. That's really weird. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Let's see how pizza does in this uh, battle. Did all right. Lost five thousand men though. Jesus. move up there go ahead and kick um yeah we'll keep everyone we have enough military power to keep it up yeah i'm not gonna attack france no sir you know why number one uh france has a big um big navy and also they have a they have this number one um army so yeah, that's going to be a big no. Cool. <sighs> Let's move on to a few new songs. Let's go to that new song that we got. Trying to find it. Nice. I think this is it? Yeah, this is it. Alright. Deny it. We're actually having some, um... Rebels back in Ireland. Mainland, uh... Ireland proper. Um, in fact, we just encountered some right here, and they're crushed. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. Gonna wait to get stronger, to crush all these rebellions. Um, how many favors do I have with these people? I have enough here. I'm assuming it's distant, yeah. So for now, we're gonna actually boost um, 
frost. Let's keep some for a war. There. Now our economy should be swinging. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. I remember back uh, when we first started, we were barely making money. Hmm, we can we can say fuck you to the uh, clergy. I'm fine with that. Pizza died. <laughs> Rip. Um, that means we will put just Mimi in charge. Let's go ahead and start building a spy network with England. <laughs> Make the real pizza. Once Mimi dies, oh, Turlinator just died. <laughs> Do you want to be the admiral? Or do you want to be the uh, general? Alright. Our <laughs> admirals are dead. Well, actually, the, um, the navy really crushes the enemies during the first part of the wars. That's how we won against Scotland, because we crushed their army very early on. Level 3 fort there. Hmm. Alright, Spain, how are you doing? 15k plus... Uh, they're pretty good. The, the problem with France, though, is that they have better morale against these people. Once we're called into a war against France, um, probably going to get fucked because, number one, we probably don't have enough people to land troops in, which is bad. How much um, economy are we getting from here? How much gold? That's a lot. We're not... Ooh. England is at war. The Dutch conquest. I were to declare war on you. Can we take it on one... Just like one at a time? We can take out... Okay, let's, let's think here. Start running the numbers. We gotta run the numbers. Always. Rivals. They have 25,000 men in their army. We could mark and we can survive, that's fine. They have a lot of manpower. Navies. Hmm. That's scary. Half of them are transports up. We encountered them in the Straits of Dover. Um, why is the English Channel not considered a um, inland sea? Like, at least Straits of Dover. At least. But, um... I don't think we're strong enough yet. Let's actually make a, um... Let's make a flagship. Put it in here, and, um, how flagships are, they're basically, like, really good. We'll do that, we'll do that, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, hmm, hmm, movement speed, you think movement speed would be good? I'm gonna go ahead and go with you on that one. It's gonna be a heavy ship too. Wait, have we? Hmm. This might bug out the game actually now I think about it because we don't have a heavy ship yet. Let's see what it does. Um. 
You're right. You are correct, actually. Um... How long will it take for us to tech up to the next level? It's not going to take long. We're going to wait, actually. Because we can't make it yet, because it will actually bug out the game. Because technically, we have not learned about heavy ships. But we're going to go ahead and do some flandering here. Let's go do that. Can we give a province to the merchant guild? I'm pretty sure we can. Merchant guilds, come on. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's give him that. See um if that dissuade them. Not yet. How much do we need to um we need 25 influence. Okay, um that 24. Come on. Let's go ahead and just give him another province. I don't really care. Um, let's give it to Cork. Alright, now they're going to give us some stuff. Not really. Uh, 50 is not a lot. Well, we, we need as many as we can to progress to the next stage of diplomatic technology. So the second we get that, we're going to build a flagship. Yeah. It doesn't really work like that, Pizza. What happens is... Um, the nobility will get mad, but how the game works is they supply manpower because historically, historically, a standing army wasn't really a thing at the time of this time period. Sure, England had some. I think they started making a, um, let's go ahead and do that. This, ooh, we cannot take a stab hit right now. think just do that that's kind of annoying we're gonna deal with the presence war um it's gonna take a while but how it works essentially historically they we the nations never really had standing armies besides rome uh, i think france had one too in england but mainly what would happen is they would call up the nobles and essentially get the um their knights to fight for them but, um, no, if it, if they get attacked, the nobles won't, won't retaliate. They'll just be like, alright. I wish it was like that. It would actually help a lot. Yeah, we're going to deal with this peasant's war because it just hates us for some reason. No, I'm fine not having this. Uh, what can we take? Yeah, I'd much rather actually take a, um, another military. And once we have, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be fine. We are really, really messing with, um, admin tech. We really need that. We need to continue to grow our navy. Five ships being made. Of course, it doesn't really do it that efficiently. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and remove this one, and let's go ahead and build one a galley in there, Donegal. The army is looking nice. Um, we can actually recruit um, five more men. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna need them. Because of, um, okay. Where is it recruiting our, um, don't know where, not know where.
It's the new year. We should be able to get um, these texts very soon. We're going to get this one in uh, April. Of Jesus, that's a long ways away, actually. Ooh, institutions. I completely forgot about that. 45%. Where are we with institutions? Um, we're actually going to take a few loans here. Uh, we're actually going to decrease... Um, I hate using admin, but we really need to do that. Yeah, we need to embrace this so we can uh, go ahead and do this. There we go. Alright. Good. We can now build a flagship um, once we, of course, get enough money to do so. I hate taking loans, but sometimes we must. In fact, who can we say is our enemy? Mm, I never liked Gyalde. I think, yeah, if I if I um, rivaled Aragon, these two would get so pissed at me. Yeah, that would not have been good. All right. Can I can I actually move our um my trade? Awesome. Yes. Okay. Where does trade flow? Trade flows to here. The into the English channel. Collect from trade. We'll just collect. Do we collect any? Point zero four. All right, and so begins the um. We lose six stability. Holy shit! Damn that that's that's a dick move right there. Let's go ahead and go over them there and crush them. Um, we're gonna put this guy in this in charge for now. Hey, it's crushed. Um, stability at least one. Jeez, our admin just is shit. Huh. And Mimi has died, which means we can recruit a new pizza. Pizza, and I'll do Digger. Why not? A two one one. Meh. You're not bad. <laughs> Oh, and our god, uh, general just died. Rip. Let's go ahead and decrease our fleet maintenance, and let's continue on. Aragon, of course. No, you died earlier, remember? England. Yeah, um, we're just gonna have to survive against these rebels. I think we're gonna take more loans. You are a 0 2, which I'm um, actually a 1 1, uh, well, actually, you're 2 1 1 now. Oh. Yeah, no, we're just gonna fuck every single fucking rebel that tries to attack us here. So go ahead. Pizza, this will be a deciding blow. There we go. Good job. Good job. We're actually taking uh, attrition here. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and, uh, the Midlands. Rebels will arrive in here and where else? No, okay. <laughs> Right now we really don't need the um in fact I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Did pizza oh, okay no. Three four three. Really can't take that, that's fine. Alright. 
And now we just sit and wait. I am broke. I am very... We are barely making money. Or we're actually not making money at all. The Insta... Let's go ahead and go destroy them. I may have to convert to... Um, Hmm. Now we're just gonna go ahead and say fuck everyone. We can let that 20k sit. We're just gonna go over here and destroy him. We cannot. These are a lot of rebels. Holy shit. Um, let's go ahead and just leave one. We're gonna go ahead and go to Ulster and fuck them up. Yeah, the uh, flagship will not happen yet. <laughs> we are too broke. What can we do here? Stability. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is this. this I hate this decision. Um, on one hand, we'll lose basically. Yeah, fuck it. And in, in order to get out of the um. Out of this, we need to make this up to one, but it's going to take a lot of administration power. And now you're you have more movement speed. So let's go ahead and go here. And let's let's decide where we're going to attack from because we need to attack from a uh, we're going to attack from Kildare. That way we don't take a hit of a river crossing. go here and let's go ahead and go here and the the day before when are we gonna arrive we're gonna arrive on the uh, 24th or 25th or 26th I meant uh, we're gonna do this bam look at that beautiful so I'd say that basically just means um, the defenders go out and out of their defensive um, place and essentially try to um, preemptive attack them in the roughest of terms of of definitions. <laughs> Let's see here. Compensate. Um, no, we're going to have to say fuck you. Um, trade. We cannot take any money hits. Army maintenance is at an all-time high. We are in war. Oh, dude. I'm not going to be able to... Uh... I have... Um, I'm on vacation next week. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I saw that. I, I saw that. Damn. We're going to go ahead and... and um, our army's kind of too big to manage right now. Still losing money. Can we repay any loans? No. Hmm. Clergy. Um. Oh, we can actually do that. But you... Hmm. Ah, of course we have to buy out our fucking... <laughs> I mean, it's better than a civil war. Civil wars are just AIDS. Once we get out of this, uh, we can declare war against the English. Oh, 
Well, th this whole run has been trying to advance the economy, but um, the problem with um, the economy is we're in fucking Ireland. <laughs> Ireland is not known for its amazing riches. Ironically, um, in Old Norse, uh, basically the Scandinavian uh, language, bef you know, before um, Norwegian, Swedish, uh, Danish, um, this means Iutheland means uh, land of the wealth or riches. Kind of did that on purpose just for the meme. Yeah, we are taking loans. Interest is at an all time high. If I decrease the slider, oh, yes. We can do that. We're gonna sit in pale. Awesome. Scotland knows our weakness. That's not good. Okay. Hmm. And now we wait. We wait to recover. Desmond, they don't like us. We know this. Okay. Yeah, we're almost at 500 uh, loans. When we declare on war on England, will anyone give us subsidies? Sweden may, actually. So that'll be one way we can uh, help our economy. Here's the thing with Sweden, though. Um, actually, how big's the um, army for the English? 28k, that means they have 20k sitting here and then 8k sitting somewhere else. We can hold 20k, and I believe the width of, um, it's 20, right? Yeah. Oop. I accidentally skipped that song. Re. Alright. And now we just wait for rebels, and we'll crush them, and we'll get out of this, eventually. How do we get out of this again? Stability, at least one, okay. A few years, we're going to be able to, um... We're going to be able to get out of this. Corruption. How bad is corruption right now? Fuck it. I don't care about corruption, low-key. The only problem with our corruption is the autonomy. Uh, let's gain the, uh, the prestige. And there's that revolt. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to increase maintenance for the army. Let's move to the Midlands. Hundred Diplo. Oh wow, we actually got, um, uh, we got really lucky there. He gained a, uh, dip. That's nice. We'll wait for next month. Uh, is there any river? Yeah, so it's gonna be a tough battle, actually. Unless we go there, excellent. Oh, we'll sit there. Munster will have a um, revolt. Good song. Let's sit in the Midlands. Let's go across the uh, these rebels. There we go. And now we can decrease um, military spending. So yeah, the next, the strat's going to be to actually gain um, Wales as a separate nation. That's going to be nice. Beautiful.
All in all, we're actually doing really well. Not even lying. I've seen peasant wars destroy countries. I've seen uh, I've seen France actually get destroyed. Now France is very scary for the fact of um, they're allied to Scotland's. Let's hope they don't declare war. So they might. <laughs> they might. That is good news. Let's go ahead and repay some loan. Oh, we can't. Next month we'll be able to repay a loan. And every time we repay a loan, interest uh, cost goes down, so, which is even better. I wish, I wish. Um, Sweden, however, owns it, and they're probably never gonna sell that. I'd love to have um, Iceland, though. I, I don't think I can. Can I? Um, give him a shoe mail. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can buy. Um, I can sell my provinces, but I can't buy their provinces. We're almost ready to, um, actually Sweden's going to be our rival, um, later on in the game when we start to colonize, uh, of Canada and basically just all of East, um, all of East America. In Ormond, economy, bam. Keep it at a modest level, shall we? Or do we want to do anything? Yeah, let's keep it at a modest level. <laughs> this is a massive ass wall. Alright, we are almost ready. We are almost ready to get out of this godforsaken uh, disaster. Next rebels will rise up in Thomond. Thom or, um, Ayutha. Ayutha. Hmm. How old the. Because, um, TH in Old Norse is pronounced Atha. Like, uh, the TH in Father. Like, a Father. The, or, you know what I mean. Thamind would be the correct way, I guess. Nothing special about that. Tyrone. Bam, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back. Oh yeah, our flagship will destroy him, but um... Hmm. The problem with Sweden is that, number one, they're way too... They're too strong for me. Um... Just alone, they have 43 ships. Granted, 23 light ships and 19 transport. Um... And just army-wise, they just outrank me. But, um, we, yeah, we could destroy them if we get a uh, good enough navy. I see your point there. Ooh, two revolts at once. All right. Five thousand people just lay dead across Ireland. They have a point. Stability, where's stability? 
Uh, that's in, yeah, here. Alright. Scottish separate. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Ah, Scottish. They're God amongst men. Ooh. Damn. You're taking heavy casualties. Ooh, ooh, pizza, ooh, pi ooh, that was scary. We don't have a lot of troops. All right, let's go ahead and just do a harsh treatment. Holy shit, we barely won those. Um, let's call it idiot, and then let's um, raise levies. We have lost claims on parts of Scotland. That's fine. We're at full fucking... What other covert actions can we do? Support rebels. Yeah, okay. Oh, we need a... Siege back that. I think we can finally get out of it now. Thank God. Alright, uh, we got rid of the Peasants' War. We survived. We lost a lot of men. Um, shit ton of men. No. No, 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 no. You can't do that. God damn it, England. Ah, fuck. They're a defender of the Catholic faith. Well, we need to, we need to rebuild anyways. We can't, uh, we can't go to war just yet. Ooh, we need to move over there. Alright, let's go here. Beautiful. Okay, um, rebel forces have been destroyed. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and did I do the wrong button? I did not. Okay. Let's reduce army. Gain. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. We are alive. That's the only thing that matters at this point. Party seamen. France, are you at war per chance? No? Okay. And was that a. Did I see that correctly? Hmm. Interesting. At least we're getting money back. Uh, how many loans are we... Oh, wow. Oh, we're, no, we're at 256 ducats in debt. Which actually isn't that bad. Yeah, fuck you, Scotland. Can we support rebels, please? 60, okay. But I'm at 48. Is that admin or is that diplomatic? Oh, that's admin. Damn. England, chill. Hmm.
Ah, oh, come on. All right. Can we take anything more? We can. Bam. All right, you can come back from whatever you are doing. We now have pretty good claims everywhere. Let's start rebuilding a spy network with um, Scots, and let's also go ahead and counter espionage. More rebels are coming soon. Let's increase army. Yeah, let's start moving over there. <laughs> yeah, but then again. Well, I mean, here's the. <laughs> well, here's the thing with that. You know, like, if you're out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, no one's going to really attack you, sir. But who are you going to attack? Oh. Yeah, but that's not point. That's not the point of the game. The point of the game is to fuck everyone over and just conquer everything. Actually, Rusty in in another game, actually, um, in another game, you can actually do you can get war elephants um if you import them from uh, India. It's called Imperator Rome. Same makers of this game. I'm actually doing a playthrough on that. But, uh... It's fun. It's definitely fun. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually gonna do that. See war element. Can you imagine like uh fucking Viking war elephants going down upon the natives of the fucking Ah Huh. Hmm. <laughs> but in reality, don't get them. Damn. I'm trying to time these rebels. Rebel screens right here. We will be out of loans soon. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. I hate doing that, but you know, why not? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, pizza. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and go back to the Midlands. Let's go ahead and decrease army spending dramatically. <laughs> um always that's 300 diplo points essentially I always go with the mercantilism ah uh, why not hmm No, no, no. Oh, Rusty, don't even get me started on Hannibal. A few things. Number one, you spelled his name wrong, but I won't, I won't read me for that. Now, 
he was a general of Carthage. Um, historically, is where Tunis is. Um, this is just for like pizza, because I don't know if he knows about it. Because um, basically, what this guy did, his father Hasdrubal, actually owned parts of Spain. This was a massive empire. Anyways, he owned massive parts of Spain, and over time, he took. They went in a war. Um, Carthage lost, and then um, Hannibal caused the second uh, war to happen. There's actually a siege somewhere over here or over here. I, I, I forgot where exactly. No, no, no. It was up here. Because this is where uh, New Carthage was. Um, and Valencia. No, Valencia was where actually the um, Hannibal raided uh, them. Because, uh, yeah, this river that you see right here, I believe that's where the border was. Um, don't quote me on any of this. It could have been this river. Um, anyways. Point is, Hannibal took fucking like I think it was 37 war elephants. And let me just go. Let me just go um, here. He went all the way across France, and he it's believed he went through um, like right here. Like he came in from here. He didn't really go this way because the um. Hold on, let me change this on. Because a Roman um a Roman army was sitting right here, uh, so he didn't really want to go in direct conflict. So he maneuvered across the um. Gaul is what France was called back then. Moved across uh, Transalpine Gaul, moved through here, and then went down and just ransacked fucking Italy for like 20 years. Um, the problem with that though, he never attacked Rome itself. Which is honestly... I, I don't know how, how I feel about that. I feel bad because 20 years of his life and his fucking army's um, life... They just never conquered what they wanted. He eventually... They lost the war after a battle of Zuma. Can we actually find Zuma on the map? We cannot. But uh, Zuma is essentially down here. Think of it as um, the Battle of Waterloo. He lost. He was exiled from his home country. And he actually fought against the uh, Romans and for other people. And in fact, he was the first one to use bio... Uh, Bio uh, chemical warfare. What he did was he took a snake and catapulted it across the um, across the uh, battle of like during his naval time. Really interesting stories about him. He used to study that shit like all the time. Just knocked my power cord. Almost ripped it out. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, we're about to repay a loan soon. Huh. <laughs> well, actually. During the, um... The Black Death, um... What would happen is, um... They would catapult those uh, infected over the walls. Really interesting, because uh, first of all, it's just it's fucked if you think about it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. You're right, Rusty. I remember that. All right, Sweden. Um, let's go ahead and bring him back, and let's go ahead and uh, just get a bunch of claims here. Okay, if we were to declare war, ooh. Ooh. Okay, now what if we attacked them? Ooh, this is actually a really good time for war. This is an amazing time for war. Okay, we're gonna go to war, actually. I just got a notification. I'm not gonna read it. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's wait. Let's actually rebuild our... Well, we're not going to be able to rebuild our economy. Um, in this episode, at least. Let's go ahead and do this. 
And actually, this is going to be a great time for war. Hmm. Somewhat. 